I want to encourage you to watch this entire video. There are some great tips in here on how to keep your Louis Vuitton looking great for years and years, for generations. These are my tried and true tips on caring for your Louis Vuitton. From the day you get it, to protecting it, to cleaning, conditioning, the interior, the exterior, the leather, the canvas, all of that, even storage. Approaching the two year anniversary date of my Mon Speedy B30 bandolier. This Speedy is one of my regulars. I tend to use her five to 10 times a month. I have not cleaned it at all since I've gotten it. All I have done is spray the Vachetta. So let's go back in time. Spraying the new Vachetta will help prevent staining, water spots, color transfer. Let's look at two years of wear on this Speedy. Light patina has started. Start, handles are starting to cure, you see the gloss, but you also see some spots. This underside have some dirt. Hardware has some minor scuffing. The Cheta has started to patina. There's some spots. Canvas looks a little dirty, a little haze to it. Now if a Speedy is going to crack or stretch, it'll be along the top, checking it for any damage or excessive wear, and there's nothing that I see. Look at that gloss, it's really pretty, it's curing. The more it cures, the less it'll take on stains. This strap does not get used as much, so it's a little bit lighter. So I wanted to show that to compare the patina. A little bit of scuffing on the brass there. Now this is my first Mon piece and I was really concerned about rubbings. So I'm just doing a close look to see if any of the print is starting to wear off. And I don't see any. It still looks bright and crisp. Looks good. Canvas looks good too. Doesn't look faded. Now the texture on the corners also tend to wear over time and that's still looking good. Looks good. The inside tells a different story. I didn't use my shaper organizer a lot with this. I found the it was a little too bulky. I like my Speedy a little on the slouchy side. But overall you see dirt transfer, white marks, some pen marks, overall dingy of the color as well. That corner's pretty bad. You can see two years has taken its toll on the interior. But that's important to keep that clean too. Let's clean this up. First I like to attack the spots. My favorite product is Folex Carpet Spot Remover. It's a professional product. It's very gentle. It's color safe, yet it works. It doesn't have an odor to it. It's not a detergent. I buy the big jug on Amazon and pour it into the small spray bottle for ease of use. And I spray it on a microfiber towel. I like to control the amount of liquids I have around my bag, so if you're working on the corner, remember that the liquid can actually go through and soak into the Vachetta piping, and you don't want that to happen, because that'll darken it. You may have to go over those pen marks a couple of times, and then when I'm done with that, while it's drying, I do an overall wipe down with the vinegar water solution, one part vinegar, 10 parts water. This is also a clean and effective cleaner. Natural. It will brighten the color back up. And overall, it'll clean up just the 
dirt. It'll deodorize the bag. You had spilt in cosmetics or perfume. Milk, it's, it's helped clean up sour milk. Okay, round two of the interior wipe down, which was a quick wipe down with water with a touch of vinegar, and then went over the spots again with the Folex. It did a great job. It looks as good as new, or almost as good like new. And then I sprayed it with the Apple Guard just for an extra protection against stains. And you know that does wear down after a while, so after you clean it again, you'll have to respray it. Like new. Ready for the outside. I swapped out my claws to make sure I'm not using anything on the leather other than the vinegar water. These are just cut up white t-shirts and I'm going to use them on the handle to see if we can see any dirt that comes off. So, just to make it so it's not super duper wet, I like to spray it on here and kind of get it all throughout there so it's not like dripping. There's that spot. See if you can see some dirt. leather dries, I'm going to go ahead and use some Cadillac on the canvas. Polish her up. It'll keep it nice. Help prevent it from drying out and cracking. Kind of like you would with leather. Okay, it is the next day, late morning. And I want to just show you after I cleaned it with the vinegar solution, it's still shiny. That spot that was right about there is pretty much gone. Saddle butter recommendation from my friend Jean of Looks 2.0. Check out her channel. A little bit of the product. At first it will darken a little bit, but it will dry. You will see, I'll show you pictures. Don't worry. All right, the saddle butter has had time to dry and I think it looks great. It's been not a full day, it's been about, let's say 12 hours and I'm going to buff it lightly with a cloth and then we'll do some comparison photos. The only treatment I have used on this prior 
was the Apple Guard spray when I received it. It has held up well. These are the products I used to clean the Vachetta, 10 parts water, one part vinegar. So about 10% vinegar. And then I used a little bit of Folex for the spots that were inside on the interior. This is the jug of it, but it does come in a much smaller amount. Cadillac I used on the canvas to kind of give it a, a nice little condition and a teeny bit of shine. White t-shirts because I like to kind of see the dirt come off the handles. And a couple of clean microfiber cloths. And I like to use these little cotton rounds for putting on the conditioners. I don't know, you can use your fingers too. And for the piping, I used Q-tips. Because you don't want to forget about those. They, they take a lot of wear and tear. So you really want to protect those as much as you can. I spot cleaned the interior, wiped down the canvas. I treated the leather with the saddle butter. And that is all I need now to protect the Vachetta. It'll still be able to breathe and maintain its beauty and patina evenly, which is important, help resist stains. So no longer do I need the spray, just this. Almost born again. Two year old Speedy, still very light, and they have that nice subtle sheen to them. They feel really good. The piping looks great. And the sides, and of course, like the one strap, just tends to darken there quickly because it's exposed the most. Now she's ready to school for a while, and I lightly pack with newsprint, well, non-printed newspaper. It'll help keep it fresh inside, absorb any odors if there's any lingering, and will prevent any permanent wrinkles from storage, you know? Because the canvas will actually stretch a little bit if it's bent or wrinkled, and that can become a memory. I don't like to store it buckled. The memory will retain, there's a slight one there just from use, but it will retain these creases and crimps. And also over time, the buckle will tarnish, this buckle will tarnish your strap and it'll be like a black mark. And that's really hard to get out. It's usually permanent. Two year old Speedy, I do not store in the dust cover. It's on a shelf. So just using some simple products can keep your Louis Vuitton looking great for many, many, many years and to pass on to the next generation. Two year old Speedy looking this great. I use it five to 10 times a month, sometimes more. I hope you learned a couple of new tips. Don't use magic eraser. Don't use it, don't do it. It may look good until you get it wet or use conditioner and it's not gonna look good. I've ruined a bag, learn from me. Check out my playlist, Care and Maintenance. It'll give you some other ideas on how to care for your Louis Vuitton. Keep it looking beautiful for years and generations. See you in the next video.